we have um, uh, heard um, the new leader talking about uh, not approving the Iraqi war, uh, a different approach to the Arab-Israeli conflict, and also talking about different attitude to the Indeed. while in, while talking about the importance of an alliance with the United States but uh, also different approach so how do you make the speech how you know we have seen and heard um, labor leaders when they are in position talking about something but when it's in, in the government they implement something else well I, I don't think any labor leader has laid out as clearly as Ed did today uh, his approach for example on Israel Palestine um, his, his approach to the issue of how do we deal with our alliances and so on, I thought it was very good. And when, as he, you consider, as he said, he's only been the leader for 72 hours, um, I thought it was an impressive performance. Talking about your experience, you are foreign secretary, you have dealt with really one of the complicated issues in our history, which is the Arab-Israeli conflict. How far we can say that there might be a chance for progress in the coming few years or few months? As we have seen, you know, now it's I, I really do believe there is a very strong chance for progress because the fact is that every one of the participants in that discussion, in the conflict and the negotiations knows that peace is in their interests. That hasn't always been the case in the past. Sometimes there have been times when one or another thought that actually peace was not in their interest. But it is in everybody's interest to have peace. And anywhere you go in the Middle East, everyone knows basically what the, so the solution to the problems is. There are details to be settled, but everybody knows what are the key elements and how it could be resolved. So it, the question, question is, they just have to get on and do it. So it can be done. There is every chance. And anything that any politician can do, including the leader of the Labour Party, to push things in that direction, they should do. This is being taken into consideration, the, the present environment. You've been following it very closely. Uh, Obama's administration, serious about achieving something in the Middle East. Do you think of the experience you have, other leaders have it, that is it really possible to, to, to make a change? I'm sure it's possible. It's just the will has to be there. It has to be done. I mean, here in, in the UK, as you know, we had the Northern Ireland conflict, which was um, probably even more long-running in many ways. Uh, and yet, in the end, it could be resolved. If the will is there, people have to recognize the need and to be prepared to do it. But, but the new thing in this speech today, and you know, there was an experience. There was Kosovo, there was uh, uh, many wars where, uh, an international pressure has been exercised and parties have accepted. It never been the case within the Arab Israeli conflict. Today, the new leader have talked about that if there is a need to insert such a pressure, we should do it. Do you think there will be a change in the international environment in terms of handling the Arab Israeli conflict? Well, I think he will do everything he can to contribute to such a change. Uh, let's hope we don't have to wait till he's Prime Minister for it to happen. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Good Thank to you. see you.